Jasmine coin just exploded 150% in the last three days. Is Jasmine coin a potential to go to one cent, one dollar, or is this another project that is just massive manipulation pushing an asset up in a short period of time and then a massive sell-off after the parabolic move we're going to talk about this all i ask is you give me a beautiful smile smash the like button first of all i want to disclaim something usually i don't talk about projects that are under one billion dollar market cap jasmine is at around 700 uh billion sorry 700 million <laughs> at the time that i'm recording this which means that there is greater risks uh in investing in it but i looked back and some of the assets that i have talked about have fallen a little bit into the same kind of zone as jasmine so i was like okay you know what we're going to release a little bit the reins here we'll go up to half a half a billion right that's going to be our cutoff our new cutoff because in the new bull market a lot of these projects that are now maybe outside the top 100 they're going to have uh, market caps of over 1 billion right I, I believe right that we're going to move in that direction so these projects are very uh possibly soon going to be 1 billion right? <laughs> uh jasmine could be by the time you're watching this video um so what's going on with jasmine uh coin so let's take a look here at the price currently the price of jasmine coin is at 0 0.015 up 33 percent uh since gmt time but you can see in the last three days there has been a massive spike in the volume of jasmine uh and uh it it has a all-time high of around four but what i uh, understand right this was the uh, 0 0.35 was the high here right if you do go right and you see here on coin gecko we do see a high of uh, four right uh, but there has been some changes in the circulating supply um, and I've been trying to research it a lot today. There's some people that are saying this way and some people that are saying that way that the, the circulating supply has been changed in a way that the founders uh, didn't approve and that uh, there's a little bit controversy about it. I don't want to touch on it because I, I haven't been, uh, I admit, I haven't been uh, tracking Jasmine uh, for, for long enough. Uh, let me know in the comment section exactly what happened with the circulating supply uh, and if you write to me I'll, I'll pin it to the top of the comments right so everybody can know exactly what's happening uh, with the circulating supply here and why has it changed uh, and why is it good or bad right um, I watched a, a video uh, earlier uh, from um, from Gerard if you know Gerard from Bitcoin strategy and he was talking about the fact that the circulating supply suddenly jumped from 10 billion to 48 billion uh, it looks like that on a coin market cap but I think there's a reason for that right you can see here uh, Gerard Gerard right and he was talking about here about the circulating supply that it suddenly jumped uh, so let me know in, in the comment section and down below but Jasmine has moved up here significantly and something that could be the reason why Jasmine has jumped so big is Jasmine is from Japan right I love Japan by the way I've been I've been twice <laughs> um, and uh, Japan shocks the crypto world with a game-changing move this could be massive investments in the crypto space right so the government approved for crypto holdings Japan cabinet approved a bill allowing venture capital firms and investment funds to hold crypto assets this move aimed to boost investments in web3 startups fostering innovation and economic growth and J J Japanese people have a very big pride using Japanese products, Japanese exchanges, Japanese products. Uh, and so the fact is that Jasmine, which if you go like to the website and, and you see it, it opens up a Japanese website, right? Uh, and there's a lot of uh, talk there about AI and, and all that. So there's, there's a lot of things that, you know, make me feel, okay, this is a, a hot narrative, right? But there's some things that also make me a little bit uh, scared. And we'll talk about that in just a second, right? I'm going to give you the good, the bad and the ugly maybe there's going to be you know some channels that are you know pumping uh it up and it's going to to one dollar soon right and so that's a 100x uh movement from here which could happen but most likely uh we see some kind of movement like this this is usually what we see uh from assets like this they go parabolic it could continue by the way the question is when is it, is it going to stop now they recently had an ama uh with uh key points that happened this was on the uh ba -ba -da 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 17th <laughs> so that was uh basically the day that 
a few days before Jasmine started moving. So it wasn't exactly on the day. We'll get to my concerns in just a second. So basically what was said here that 107 million users should be walking the park in Asia alone, right? Uh, data is valued well between $500 to $1,000 per user annually. Hara is not happy with the recent action. And Hara, I'm guessing, is the CEO, right? 2024 roadmap should come next month. Jasmine coin price should be driven by data owned and PDL. A bear market should have lesser impact once the things are up and running. Communication of late, uh, as of late, uh, has been refreshing. Jasmine will strive for better communication going forward. When PlayStation was mentioned, he did not dismiss it and had a cheeky smile. I suspect he has... Uh, to prove utility first this potential use cases are endless last of all it was great uh, seeing him on Kara. so this says was the ama that they had recently and it could be that this spiked also uh some excitement in uh, jasmine investors uh, and that's why we saw the spike here now let's talk about my concerns a little bit so if you go to jasmine's web uh, website here on coin gecko right a uh, web page right it's not a website uh, it's the page on coin gecko <laughs> um you can see that the 24-hour trading volume has been 1.2 uh, billion, right? And on average, that's way up on the average uh, for Jasmine, and it's more than the market cap, right? Uh, and when you have situations like this, it means that there's a lot of trading going on. And if you go down here to the <clears throat> the Jasmine coin markets, you can see that in, in the per perpetuals, right? So it's leverage trading. 1.8 billion was actually traded on Binance and about 360 million on Bybit and Bing X also had 342. So there was a massive amount of almost a two and a half billion dollars worth of trading on the perpetuals in the last 24 hour and if we go to spot we see that the levels are big as well uh with the biggest one uh xt.com which i understand has ties to binance as well uh, and we see uh coinbase exchange uh actually yesterday when uh when i looked uh it was um binance was number one so this is really weird that binance is nowhere uh, to, to be seen today right it seems all of it shifted uh here's binance okay so it's the 24 hour volume is still 238 million. I don't know why it fell down here to number 48, right? Uh, but you can see that the volume has uh, subsided uh, a little bit on Binance. I think yesterday it was around 500 or 600 million just on Binance. And if we go to Jasmine, right, on Etherscan, we can see that Binance is the biggest holder of Jasmine, right? Uh, with a 6.6 .6 billion right? This is, yeah, 6.6 .6 billion uh, held, right, in this wallet. Now, I don't think that six, yeah, that 100 million of it um, is held by Binance customers. We don't have that uh, data. Uh, we can maybe find that uh, Binance does have um, their, um, the, the website, uh, I, I forgot the URL. It will take me a second to find it. Maybe next update on uh, Jasmine, I'll update you. There's a um, Binance website. You can see how much uh, they have uh, customers have and how much Binance has backed for those customers, right? Um, and so it'll be interesting to see how much of this 100 million, sorry, 100, yeah, 100 million uh, is actually held by customers and how much is it is Binance potentially manipulating the price of Jasmine here um, with the perpetuals, right? And so that is something that when we usually see this kind of action, uh, this is concerning, right? It's a little bit concerning to me when we see such a massive amount uh, of leverage trading on Binance, uh, and this could, you know, change quick. We did see a pullback here a little bit uh, a few hours ago, right? Where it topped up at uh, 0 0.017, uh, and it fell, right? So it had, uh, in, in a few hours, uh, it dropped 24% uh, in two hours and 40 minutes. Um, so the volatility will probably continue uh, here for Jasmine. Um, so if you want to invest in Jasmine, uh, it is a volatile asset that is on a parabolic movement. And parabolic movements, unless it's in a massive bull run or slash they have massive momentum they're a meme like pepe or bonk or something like that and they are able to 
go to one one and a half mil, uh, billion market cap right something like that could potentially happen here so maybe another 100 percent, maybe to 0 0.03 uh before it starts getting the attention of the the big whales and then once we get into that kind of zone you'll usually see uh the early investors and people start uh, big uh, big whales that were initially in the project start taking profits so could there be a hundred percent movement here in the short term uh, yes, there could be, right? Again, not financial advice, always do your own due diligence. Um, to think about, you know, one cent, uh, sorry, it's already at one cent, but for a tenth of a cent or a, a dollar here uh, for Jasmine, that's a little bit, you know, far-fetched currently, but we are on the precipice of the bull market, so anything can happen. I don't want to say, no, it's never going to, to one dollar. Uh, you know, I, we have saw previous bull market uh, assets that were 100 xing uh let's wait and see let's see it uh you know gets to a billion market cap first and let's see it go a little bit uh you know further there again this is uh, I'm, I'm putting up a lot of defenses here in this video and maybe people will get angry in the comment section right um but there's a reason for that right because uh, i made an exception here or i made a change in the rule so i decided if i'm going to change uh, make a change in the rule i'm going to uh put up more guards and be more speculative right it might be not speculative more concern right and put more you know maybe this is not going to happen maybe that is not going to happen okay so you guys know uh that yes this could go up and i'll look like a dum dum but it also could fall down and i want to i want you guys to have your guards up guard up right and be careful and potentially if it goes up 100 percent, maybe take profit right uh take out your initial position and leave the profit to ride right that's for example something that i did with bonk recently when it when when it went up right we don't know maybe bonk will continue and it will be 50 billion by the end of the bull run maybe so that profit goes and runs right that's that's a trading tactic that that i use and i learned last bull market <laughs> that a lot of profits went down the drain um so that's something that i'm going to be implementing this bull run and you know if if i make less uh in the end i because i took profits i'll be okay with it because I took profits, right? <laughs> so don't forget to smash the like button. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Check out the links in the description down below. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.